Today on Armadillo Pepper TV, I'm making a citrus chicken with a honey and bourbon glaze. So stick around. Hi, I'm Donna. Our daughter has a Satsuma orange tree, which is very popular here in North Florida. And this year we have more oranges than we could possibly eat. When they're ripe, they have an almost candy-like sweetness. And I'm gonna put these oranges to good use with some citrus chicken. So last night, I marinated three chicken breasts in one bottle of Stubbs Chicken Marinade. I used the juice of one of my oranges, two teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of ginger, and some garlic. Of course, you can create your own marinade, but this saves me a lot of time. It has lime juice, garlic, brown sugar, and some other seasoning. Now, this recipe works great on the grill. You wanna heat it, heat it to about 350. You can also um, make it in the oven. But today, I am going to use my Big Easy Oilist Fryer. While my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna get my glaze going. This is some orange blossom honey. I've already got my grill started and I've got my cast iron pan. You don't wanna use something that's gonna melt. And a lot of pans aren't made for the grill. Here's my orange juice. My ginger. And about a quarter cup of Eagle Rare Kentucky Bourbon. And don't put this in the pan when the, don't put it in the pan first when it's hot because you could make it flame up. I'm just going to reduce this down a little bit. I'm going to give it a try. I think I'm going to add a little bit more bourbon because you can never have too much bourbon. That looks like enough. My chicken's getting close and my glaze is ready. So I'm going to pour about half of it up to glaze my chicken and I'm going to save some of it for later. My chicken's almost done, so I'm going to take it out and give it a glaze for the last few minutes of cooking. I'm just going to brush some of this glaze on all of the chicken breasts, and then I'm going to put them back in the oilless fryer for about 10 minutes or until they reach 165 degrees. My chicken has reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees, so I'm going to take it out. Look at that beautiful color. That's thanks to the glaze. Now I'm just going to drizzle these with some of my extra glaze, and then I'm going to let them rest for about five or six minutes. This chicken looks so good, I can't wait to try it. This chicken is awesome. It's so tender and juicy. I can taste the bourbon and the orange and the honey. My family is going to love this. Thanks for watching another episode of Armadillo Pepper TV. Please hit that subscribe button or leave us a comment.